Welcome to the Jerry Green channel. This is a channel that talks about narcissists. I wanted to go ahead and jump straight into the topic, but first, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Let's jump into it. All right, so if you're studying this stuff, and I talk a lot about strategy and a lot about tactics, like not everything I talk about is strategy, a lot of it's tactics as far as how to deal with narcissists and and how to deal with every situation that this this channel covers one thing that needs to be said is you have to understand this one thing people can stop your plans your plans are going to be stopped and you can't go into any situation and think that nobody can stop you or nobody's going to try to stop you anything that you do there's a way to stop it and people will try to stop it you know people that have nothing to do with it will try to stop you and so that's how it is in life and that's how it is in chess and I learned this from chess but I've, I've seen this in life you know at the lower levels of chess people go for obvious plans or not even obvious plans as far as attacking just as far as developing their pieces as far as as far as doing certain things and as you, that you move along, you'll notice that your opponent automatically takes away whatever you're trying to do. And especially if you're very good at chess and you almost confuse your opponent a few times, they'll go straight into defensive mode. And just every little thing that you try to do, they'll just try to stop it. As soon as you do that move, they try to stop it. it, it it's like, it's it's how people think, especially if you're white in the in the game and you move first the game can end up like that it's just you moving that person tries to stop where you're moving to you do this they do that they do it's like very connected and it's because the the board is so small that they know you only have a certain amount of options and based on your options they kind of can tell what you're thinking and it you have to get into the game and there's a bunch of different factors that come into play that makes a person start to lose track of that and get confused and then you can get them but for the most part that's how people play chess the the average chess player is a defensive chess player they don't really you know they're so they they basically do that and that's how people are in life like your enemies are just going to see what you're doing if you do something they're going to see what you're doing and then they're going to try to stop it and then the more you try, the more you start to lock yourself out as time goes on. And the same thing with chess. If they keep stopping your moves, they, if, if you keep trying to attack their position and they keep stopping your moves, eventually you, you're you going to get locked out of their position. And it would be one thing if they were a great chess player and they can see what you are going to do before you do it and they can study the game and they they start to lock their position on their own. But it's kind of a weak move to wait for your opponent to do something and then you stop it. And then and then eventually you get to a point where you have locked them out. But it's like you haven't attacked on your own. You haven't done anything. You just kind of fell into this great defensive position. And that's how it is in life. People eventually stop all of your plans and then you become basically like food for them. So if you just keep trying all these different techniques that you learn on this channel, you'll run out of techniques and then now it's their turn. And the same thing in, on a chessboard. You try, you try it and try, you end up strengthening your opponent's position because they know they get stronger as they stop your attacks and then you're locked out. Now it's your turn to be attacked and you're you're not going to be as as be able to do that because now your piece is all across the board trying to attack them. You're more open to it. You're in a completely offensive position. And now you're going to get mated. And that's how life is. And I was watching a, a game with uh, Magnus Carlsen. And he said, uh, don't have plans. Because your opponent, if they're any good, they're going to stop your plans. So that's how it is in life. Like, you got to focus on strategy. You know what I'm saying? So even while you're doing this. Even while you have tactics, you still use tactics. You still use things that you find that work. But you got to always be working on the overall strategy 
that will overpower any them anyway. You want to get yourself in such a position that they can't mess with you anyway. And that's where the power lies. And that's what you need to be focused on. There's certain moves that you can make. Like I said, getting wins, getting W's that that people can't mess with. They can't throw you off. They can't mess with that. Improving your overall position and not being so focused on tactics is more powerful as long as you're focusing on the most powerful parts of the game, whether it's life or chess or whatever. You get better and better at those. And it's not easy because still chess is the most tactical game in the world. So you still have to use tactics, but you can't get lost in them. And the more you are able to advance your overall strategy and still deal with tactics, the more your haters just start to fall off. They start to peel off. They can't mess with you. If you are able to earn millions of dollars, who cares what somebody broke thinks? Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to care about somebody hating on you when you have all this money, when you when you're doing so well. That's just an example, but like every important part of life makes it where it's harder for people like the narcissist or any type of hater to touch you. And I I think that a lot of people get lost in the in the tactics and the strategies and the the smaller strategies, I should say, which is basically what tactics are. And end up having to play this game on and on and on for the rest of your life you know you don't want to to be that way you want to advance your your position to the point where it doesn't matter don't matter if your your life is so powerful and your position is so powerful that narcissists just fall off haters just fall off people gravitate to you you don't have to worry about stuff like being ostracized if a narcissist or if an ostracizer decides to ostracize you that's for people that are in weak positions if you if you're winning and you get all these w's people are going to gravitate to you regardless they can say whatever they want the more wins you get people are going to be attracted to you the more wins you get the more women you'll get the more wins you get see and this doesn't necessarily happen with uh with women though like as far as in the dating realm, like you can get haters to fall off of you because you're winning. But in the dating realm, your W's aren't the same as men's W's. Like you winning in the workforce and all that, that doesn't attract men. You know what I'm saying? It attracts money, but it doesn't, and money doesn't really attract men like that. At least not the right type of men. So just because my I have a mainly female audience, I have to make that designation that it's, it's still not the same. It's just not, it's not the same, but that that's how it works. If you're a man though, like if you win, you get all the power, all the women, all the money and all the haters fall off. The only time you, the haters start mattering. The only time you start losing friends, the only time everybody gets turned against you is when you're losing. If you lose, if you win, all of these things fall off. So you, you have to, the greater strategy is just to focus on winning. Focus on winning. But don't forget about all the little tactics of how to deal with narcissists. In the meantime, you still do those things. You still do what you can. But you, you get in the position where it would be stupid for them to even try to come at you. That's the game. That's the overall game. The overall strategy is to make it stupid for people to even come at you.